Okay, I posted assignment number one out on the bhacker.com website. It's also in the ITU EMS. And uh, what you're doing is you're looking at it. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger so we can see it. Uh, there we go. Uh, so this is for the object-oriented programming in Objective-C course. And it is assignment number one I'd like to go over. Uh, next, uh, today we're going to digress back to C. And because uh, some people want to hear stuff on pointers and basic C, which is going to help you with Objective C, actually, in the end, because Objective C is an extension of C. And if you're not, not familiar with C, and Java is the only language you've ever seen, there's a lot of differences. So I think it's worth the digress backwards for a day. But anyway, long story short, um, in terms of the concept, we uh, are looking at assignment number one, and I'm going to start actually sort of building it in class starting on Wednesday. Uh, you're supposed to do both parts. It is in two parts. So the assignment is actually quite easy. Part number one is about conditional logic. So conditional logic is used within the program to make decisions. You know, if this, then this. Case switches, all sorts of different ways of routing through the program. So um, in terms of the concept, that's what's meant by conditional logic. So this is how things get to complicated in terms of determining if two NS objects as in this particular case, the NS object based objects, are they equal, are they not equal? So it's doing, in fact, the concept here is to create some objects and then do some stuff on the objects um, to see, you know, if one's less than this, or if one's bigger than that, or are you this kind of object kind of thing. So the main syntax elements are available with the if, then, the switches, and the question mark is also, which is the ternary operator in the C language. And uh, we'll see that, actually, when we explore through C later. But um, the goal is you're going to create a, a program in Xcode. You don't actually have to use Xcode. You can use a text editor if you want. Using the Mac OS X command line tool, if you're going to use Xcode, do the command line tool template, not a Windows application. Use at least one of the cases of each of the following. So one, and this is in, in the same program as maybe part two. You can do them both together. So one if statement using the equals equal operator, if statement using the is equal to method, which is a different way of doing it. Compound logic using the and and or using the or. Um, perform logical tests to see if something is not true. So it's basically to give you some exposure, and this is a very easy kind of exercise. It can be done in almost any language, but you need to do an objective C. And uh, the purpose is to give you exposure with the control logic, because the control logic is something that um, varies a little bit in terms of the NS object checks. So we'll see how that works, and that's done a lot in the program. The second part is involving methods and parameters. So methods are functions that are defined within a class, as we know from the Java course. It's the same concept. So uh, sometimes we have uh, those are invoked by invariables and properties of objects, and sometimes those are required extra information like uh, parameters, properties to be sent to classes, uh, to methods. Extra information can be passed to the method through parameters. So think of messages and message passing and parameters. So you're going to create possibly another command line <coughs> template, or you can use the same one. Excuse me. <clears throat> you can put part one and part two all in the same program, or you can create two separate programs. Doesn't really matter how you want. It. For me pers personally, I'd put them both together if I were doing it. So you can use the same project that was created in the first part. Create a custom class that contains at least three public methods and one private method from the main method in main.m, because we want you. I want you to follow proper standards, so you go main.m. And then you have person.m or something else, .m. And you hopefully you have a .h that goes along with the .m. Yeah. So you have this, this set of the implementation and then also the interface. And uh, make an instance of the class and demonstrate the calling of the methods. So you could possibly combine. Actually, it's, it's real easy to combine them both because if you combined both parts, part one and part two together, you create a bunch of objects, you run the methods, and you put them in a loop. <laughs> <laughs> or you go if this and that, if this and that, you know, kind of just work through it that way. Um, what happened to my other oh, over there? Okay. Uh, make sure to sign the attendance if you haven't done that already. <laughs> so, 
Um, also, at the Apple World Developer site, you can track down the official Objective-C documentation. If you click on this, oh, this was a link here. It is a link. Uh, if I control click, see if this works. It'll take me to the website. It looks like it's preparing to load on the bottom. It might actually be going to this website. And the Apple, here it is. I'd like to show you this resource, actually. On the iOS Developer Library website. Um, interesting. Probably looks better on an, a, uh, I have it in a Windows partition. Probably looks better if I select yes on loading the content. Well, let's do this. If I load it on a MacBook, it probably is going to load better. <laughs> Paste. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Just like for the Android class, when I took you to and app, uh, android.developer, developer.android.com, this is developer.apple.com, uh, which is kind of like where you download it, actually, from. But there's a bunch of tutorials here and uh, topics on different things. So there's guides, guides to using control structures and stuff, um, and tutorials. There's also, let me go back here, actually, because... If you click on this link correctly, control click, let's see. So do you want it? Yes, load the unsecure items. Ah, eh, it's not loading it. Uh, probably because it's Explorer. Let me just cut this here. Copy it, put it over here. I'm trying to try to show you the control structures. Ah, this is what I wanted. If you go to the link, it'll take you here. You have to use Firefox for it, and you have to do it on a Mac. It doesn't work too, quite well on a Windows XP partition, which I had it loaded on with Internet Explorer. Not so friendly. <laughs> so, um, over here you have objects, classes, and messages. This is basically going to be like a book that's going to show you. Um, very similar to the way I'm, I'm showing you in, through the lecture material, but it's a nice little thing where you can search on stuff. How to create a class, an object. Defining a class, protocols, enumerations. I'm going to show you talk about enumerations today, actually. Uh, but it's great uh, replacement for a textbook, actually. It's the Apple. It's the developer.apple.com, where you're going to get a bunch of Objective C programming tutorials, also on the iOS as well for the uh, iPhone class. But uh, threads, exception handling, selectors, great resource. The link is in the assignment description towards the bottom of the screen. You'll see it here, preview the section on properties and it'll show you about properties that are associated with this methods um, in terms of the assignment. So that's the first assignment. There's going to be four more. I haven't got them posted yet though, so I'm still working on posting those. I'm trying to make them uh, accomplishable but not too easy. You know, and I don't want to, it's kind of boring if I just take all the Java ones and translate them into Objective-C ones. So I'm trying to come up with different ones, different topics, because you guys just came out of the Java class. So, all right, so I'm going to end this video.